Hi everybody, Glenn Rodine again from NewVisionSales.com. I wanted to take a moment, if you will, and share with you a conversation I just had with Stephen. Stephen Payne's our director of IT and e-business, helping to teach people how to fish, if you will, with regards to social networking, SEO, and optimization of our site and conversion techniques. But then another subject came up that's very dear to my heart and quite frankly on all our minds when we talk about resolutions. For the new year, I'd like to share with you a recipe from my experience for attaining goals, for setting them. First thing we have to have is a commitment. And, and quite frankly, with regards to a recipe, you could be a master pastry chef and I've never cooked a thing before in my life. But if we both follow that recipe, adding the ingredients at the appropriate time, doing the work necessary, and by the way, to share with you uh, a little bit behind the reasoning of me being the guy with a Y, Glenn, is not just because there's a Y in the middle of my name, it's because, quite frankly, what and how isn't enough. When you share why, the goals are so important. On, on, on why we want to have both personal and business aspects to it. Why one-on-ones are so essential. Why reaching for others' experience and, and mentoring somebody else makes it all come into what I refer to as a way of life or a set of habits that help us attain these goals. So what I'd like to share briefly with you is that recipe from my experience for a commitment. Because without a commitment, we all know that goals are not attained and they're rarely even set or tracked. With regards to a commitment, if we're willing, the first one being willingness, willing to go to any length within the scope of the law and our own personal character to achieve the goals for which we're setting out to, to reach, then we're off to a good start. But that's only the beginning. Not only do I have to be willing, but I have to make a clear decision. And that's usually a conscious choice in writing. When we put things down on paper, they come to fruition. They, just, they, they, they come to life. And then I have got to have a plan. And quite frankly, you've heard me say it before, those of you that have seen this uh, series, if you will, in the New Vision Sales Network, but quite frankly, any plan without a, uh, a backup is still just a wish. The third ingredient being a plan, a concise course that I'm going to take, mapping out what's most important, and having my why in the forefront of my mind, my ambition, my drive, my reason, my purpose. It may be to create jobs, to help others feed families. It may be for you know, particular personal things that we're trying to reach. And of course, I'm reaching to those that are sick of mediocrity, that want jaw-dropping results, that are done with watching others succeed and tired of listening to the people saying that success is pure luck. It's true if you ask a bunch of failures, but there's a way out. And quite frankly, it doesn't require a bunch of natural talent. It requires avid commitment and faith to, the, to, to setting, tracking, and holding myself and having somebody else holding me accountable for, the, for these goals, these daily actions that lead to make them come to fruition as if it just happens and develops. Well, not only do I need a plan, but then it's time for putting that plan into action. Because we could talk all day long about taking a trip together, but as Steve and I were joking around out by my vehicle, that unless we actually gas it up, enter the address into the navigation, put it in drive and get on the highway, we've done nothing but have a conversation. And quite frankly, what we're talking about here is doing something. And quite, uh, the most honest thing you could do right now is to write down your greatest weakness. Write down your greatest strength. Write down what you want out of life. R write down what you see in others that is attractive to you, rather than just what someone's pushing on you as being all of it. Because there's so much more. And then after we have that consistent action, Aristotle, as you know, a genius, not myself, said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit, or as I like to call it, a way of life. And the only way for that to stick and to continue to develop and grow is to give it away, share, help somebody, teach them. 
And don't just tell them what to do or how to do it, but share from experience why it's so helpful. Like what I want to share with you with regards to maybe some consideration of how you're going to write and map out and track your goals for 2011. Let's start with the long-term goal of one year. Make it challenging yet attainable. And then once we've clearly identified the business and the personal aspects to our goals for this year, we can then back out each specific course of action accomplishment that must take place for that to develop and happen and come to fruition. This happens by backing out from that one year with short-term goals of every 30 days or monthly. We're in the right business for that. We can go from hero to zero or zero to hero every month, every year. The favorite thing I ever had an opportunity to do was to take an entire team to over 20 vehicles each. Never mind the vehicles that I sold. Guys, I hope you're, 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 those of you that care about the folks that you're working with, that you're mentoring, or quite frankly, if you're new to this industry, get rid of uh, some of these old ideas. As our friends at Digital Dealers say, the future's now. So let's make it happen. And with regards to the short-term goals, let's make sure they're balanced, let's make sure that they're specific, and let's make sure that they are, that again, challenging enough to where we're not going to hit them all. We're not being honest with ourselves if we hit 12 out of 12 short-term goals. Uh, being human, though, and allowing myself the opportunity to not be perfect, it's been my experience that by reaching 9 or 10 out of 12 goals it makes it come to fruition. How else do you explain a mediocre guy with, with some talent developing a skill set that, quite frankly, has touched a lot of lives, never, more, never mind sold a lot of rides? This is open for all of us. We want to be in the and then some club. And I invite you to think big, and most importantly, dream big. Our society's got it wrong. With children, we encourage them, and we want them to think about all that's important to them, what they want out of life, and how they're going to get it, and it could be anything, and we want to hear more about it, and they're visualizing it, or they're feeling it, and they're expressing it, and then we become adults, and somewhere along the line, they said, okay, that's enough, stop dreaming. The heck with that. That valve inside our mind, turn it back on. And don't just dream, but dream big, and then build upon those dreams. Dreams are the stuff outside the scope of what we can accomplish in a one-year goal. But that's what keeps us going. That's our why. Feed it. Build on those dreams. If there's a car that you can't reasonably or respectfully <laughs> buy this year, but it's still something you've always longed for, go drive it. Same with a home and touring that, or a vacation you've always wanted, or planning for that retirement, or college, ad infinitum. It's not just the material stuff. Some of us may have a goal of eventually having a point in our lives where we can have a pet or a dog. Visit the Humane Society. Visit one of the pet shops. These build the dreams and they, th they turn that valve back on in our subconscious that's so alive as children and gets smothered by negativity as adults. Let's turn that off and turn that valve back on and say yes to NVS. We're free open source, newvisionsales.com. We encourage you to share articles, videos, thoughts, ideas, and don't hesitate to contact us for your free consultation. A true, honest look about what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. My name is Glenn Rodine.